lot of magicians are supposed to be like really good at sleight of hand, right? Be able to control the cards, put it wherever they need it, whenever they need it. Here, take one, or just touch one, better yet. Don't even take it out, just touch one in the middle. Go in the middle, actually. Yeah. In the middle, okay. Okay, this one, check it out. I'll show you this one sleight of hand move, it's pretty dope. So watch the cards, four hearts in the middle of the deck, I just square it up. And in doing squaring it up, I controlled it to the top of the deck. Mm -hmm. Did you see? Did no, you see I it? I saw nothing. It was. It happens very quickly. I'll show you again. But just so you know, it's the same four hearts. I'll leave it face mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. So just in squaring it up, make it come to the top. I think so, I figured out how. You, I think yeah. I saw it. So here's what the move looks like. It's nothing crazy. It's just like a nice sleight of hand move that magicians do. Oh, and so that you already moved swept, the entire. Right. I'm flipping the packets. Yeah. Right. But what? I hear what you did there, flipping the packets. See black people flip uh, their no, packets. No. Um, yeah, I'm listening. Go ahead. Okay. How about? But here, I've gotten like pretty good at that slight to where to the point where I can do it with one hand. Mm. So look, I'll take the four hearts, put it in here. Watch. That same move, but made it jump to the top. How the fuck did you do that? It's just like years after. But here, I'll do you one better. Years of manipulation and like doing this shit. I'll bend it so you know without a doubt that's going in the middle. Watch, I won't even, it'll happen so quick. Same, fuck. <laughs> that's insane. There's this. So up. basic though. It is, it's so super, super basic, so yeah. Even just leaving it in, face up, squaring it up. That move, but just like multiplied right, right, right. by a thousand times. There's this I'm other. I'm annoyed because again, I can see how easy it is, but you're so good at it that it's like just. Right, yeah. just happens so quickly. Uh, there's another wild one that uh, where you can get these two cards to juggle. So like if I take the Jack of Spades, see I got the two cards to switch places. It shot over. It's right, like right. I got it to juggle. Uh, all right. Can you show me how to do that, like a slower, a slower speed, just look, so, look the science of that? So in so slower, it's kind of like this. It's tough to do slow because of the wind, but it's the idea of taking the card and shooting ah. it over like that and making both cards do it at the exact same time and catching it. So look, if I take King of Diamonds, get ready, see mm, it shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You saw it. You could right. see it that, jump that over. Time. Yeah. But still. All right, so do it fast. That, that was the fast one. Oh, okay. That was like... But because the, I knew what I was looking for, I was able to see it. Exactly. Right. So, yeah, same thing. Five of spades over here. Yeah. I got you. All right. So now I don't feel so stupid. Now you don't feel so stupid. <laughs> but it's just cool to, having the inside advantage of like, if I didn't tell you like, hey, here's the move or whatever, it would have seemed like magic. But exactly. I just... It's cool to be let in on the slight. Some, some of it. Some I don't want to know it all. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you for watching. Glad you dug it. Bye, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. Come back tomorrow for a different magic trick performed out in the streets. I'm Jarek 120 of Disturb Reality. Comment and like this video. Check out my second channel for weekly vlogs, best life I ever had. Catch you tomorrow. Peace.